Hi folks, this is Arun with Go Engineer. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create and apply a custom material. First, select the parts item on the assistant panel and then the setup tab on the action bar. This should reveal the material palette icon. You can use this option to access materials in your database for the simulation. Use the search bar to filter this list to narrow down your choices. In case you aren't able to find a certain material, you can create one using the Create Material option from the drop-down next to the palette icon. There are two components to a material, the core and the covering. For the analysis, you will only need to create the simulation domain under the core. Name the material and check just the simulation domain option. Once you've accepted these settings, the software will launch 3D Search, which lists all the materials in your database. You'll find the newly created material at the top of this list. In case you don't see it, you can reorder this list by creation date, which will reveal the aluminum sample we are currently working on. Click the chevron next to the material and select the simulation option. You can use this definition window to key in essential properties required for the analysis. For structural analysis, you will need the density, elastic modulus, and Poisson's ratio. Take a look at the rest of the options in the window to discover some powerful material models available in the Abacus Solver. You can plug in a stress strain curve to track material plasticity, or utilize one of the many hyperelastic models to simulate rubber like behavior. In case you select a material behavior that you don't need, you can delete it by selecting the X mark right next to it. Once you've created the material, close the 3D search window to get back to your simulation. Head to the material palette icon to search for and apply the newly created material. Since this was just created, you can find it quickly with the in session filter. When you select the Apply button, the cursor transforms into Material Application Mode. You can tell by the palette icon that shows up right next to it. This will allow you to apply materials to multiple parts at once. After the application process is complete, hit the green check mark in the In Context menu. Finally, save the session to update the simulation and to register the material in your collaborative space. Check out the video on our playlist about the Material Definition app for an alternative approach to this process. Again, this is Arun Taraviyam and thanks for watching.